Hi everyone, Kevin Wamsley here, president at Nipissing University. We're coming to you today from downtown North Bay. What we want to do is highlight some of the important connections that Nipissing University has to the city of North Bay and to the North Bay region. So we're coming to you today from the WKP Kennedy Art Gallery. And we're featuring some of the work of our own students that's going to be prominently displayed in the North Bay Art Gallery in the coming weeks. Let's take a look. Very pleased to present one of our guests today, Alex Voss. How are you, Alex? Hi, nice, nice to, to see, see you. you. Yes. And you are director of the Kennedy Gallery. I am. And what does that entail? Basically, I run the show. So I, I get to decide who gets to be represented here, and then I put it all together. And what is your connection to Nipissing University? Well, actually, it's the reason I'm here. So I went to Nipissing, I did my BFA there, and I was able to learn some amazing skills, get connected in some amazing ways, even exhibited here for my graduation show. And then I was able to come back, and thanks to my connections here, I was able to establish this as home again. We're seeing some of this um, work of fourth year students That's that right. is displayed here in this room. Let's take a look. Welcome to the main section of the Kennedy Art Gallery. Our next guest is Professor Andrew Ackerman. Hi, Kevin. How are you, Andrew? Good. Good, Good to, to meet you. you. Tell us about this course, because I'm seeing some amazing displays of artwork on the wall here. Yeah, so this uh, course is our fourth year capstone course for the program, for the BFA program. Um, it basically consists of two main components. Uh, the first component is uh, that the students develop a body of work based on their own interests and they work in the media of their choice. Um, they also write a thesis paper to help uh, contextualize their work. Uh, we also have visiting artists come in who uh, meet with the students and I think they also have an impact on how the students progress through the program. So when I walk into a space like this, I feel different, a different range of emotions. It stimulates uh, something in my brain, makes me very excited in, in ways that other mediums don't do. Can you talk about the importance of art to our culture and, and why the work of your senior students is so important? Yeah, I, I actually find that question a little bit difficult to answer and I think it's because of the uh, range of experiences. I think everyone approaches art from a different standpoint. Uh, some people approach art as a form of entertainment, as a way to kind of escape uh, from daily life. Other people, I think, uh, see it as an expression of their own identity, an expression of their culture. Uh, and then other people um, see it as a way to think, uh, think differently. Um, so I often equate it to uh, working with, uh, you know, reading and writing, but we, we're doing that through a visual format. And so we have um, students who are thinking about different ideas. It might be environmental issues, it might be um, themes of identity, uh, politics, and they're exploring that through different visual means. Well, that sounds like a terrific answer from a very successful, very modest professor. I am so thrilled that we have a couple of more special guests, and they are the <laughs> artists. Our first is Kaylee Merrick. Kaylee, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Very good, thank you. Where are you from, Kaylee? Um, I'm from Orangeville, Ontario. And have you always wanted to be an artist? Um, yes, art has always been a passion of mine, um, and then I think I've also always been interested in going into education, so this program here allowed me to do both, um, be able to graduate my BFA as well as um, start um, a route towards education. So that's the primary reason why you're attending Nipissing University? Yeah, um, this was one of the only schools that allowed me to do a BFA as well as being in Con Ed. Well, let's get to the really exciting <laughs> part, and that is your work. Yes. So when I walk into this gallery, when the exhibition is gone, is on, I'm going to look at your work and I'm going to try and get a sense of what it means to me, but I would really like to get some background on what inspired you to do this work and maybe if you feel comfortable you could describe to me um, what this work is all about. Yeah, um, well my work is focusing on the dualities between um, two identities. I'm Chinese Canadian and I wanted to focus on different aspects of my own identity and how I personally navigate through the intersectionality of, be of belonging to one culture and then being raised in another. Um, so this this scroll here, that's, this is more of like a personal reflection of how I'm feeling. And then these series of drawings here, they kind of focus on China's one child policy, which I'm a byproduct of. And then these panels right here are um, a collection of females that I have really close sister relationships with through uh, my experience as being an adoptee. 
Well, I have to say that that, that presentation and all of this work is so effective. Thank you very much. So stimulating. Thank you very much for that. It's a real thrill to talk to an artist about their work and in particular um, how it all comes together in a, in a beautiful display like this. What a successful artist. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Our next guest artist is Corbin Lazarite. Corbin, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Very good, thank you. Where are you from? Uh, Everett, Ontario, very Everett, small Ontario. town. Yeah. So what brought you to North Bay? Well, I really liked the location of North Bay. Um, I'm from a small town, so I'm used to more like uh, community-based settings. Um, and the nature of North Bay really inspires me as well. So it just felt more of like an intimate setting rather than like a big city for me to go to, so. Can you walk us through this, these uh, spectacular pieces of work? What are they all about? Yeah, so the series itself really deals with um, recognizing a masculinity that has been, you know, through our Western hegemonic society. Um, it's, you know, kind of like a toxic masculinity that has like served as like a disadvantage to not only men, but women as well. So really utilizing art to recast traditional notions of exactly. masculinity and femininity. Yeah. Very, very effective. And can you tell me, you chose the, the pinks and purples here and they're so effective visually, especially with the contrast in the blue. Can you tell me about your color choice and the use of material here? Yeah, well, pinks and reds and stuff like that, you know, purples, um, they have traditionally been recognized as more feminine colors. And so I'm trying to uh, embrace that more within like a masculine identity. Um, the blue figures here, they're more symbolic of that traditional masculinity, um, where maybe they haven't fully embraced this um, alternate masculinity. And then the purple figures here, um, it's kind of like a mixture of that pink and blue. And so um, they have reached that uh, new, more effeminate masculinity. I wish you all the best, Corbin. Thanks very much for being with us. Thank you. I have to say that I am so proud of the work that our students have done over their four years, culminating in these amazing projects that are so stunning visually and have so much social and cultural meaning embedded in them. Um, this is really highlighting the significance of the fine arts in our academic programming and the importance of art in general to our society how it raises um, awareness of very difficult issues, how it challenges traditional notions in our society to make positive social and cultural change. And this is what university is all about, transforming people's lives and trying to bring out the best in our students. And I think that you will agree with me that the fine arts program has brought out the best in these Nipissing students. Thanks very much, we'll see you next time. This is your Nipissing University.